Inside Freed, who's a faculty member here at UCLA, is not only an outstanding neurosurgeon, I consider him one of the top neuroscientists of our lifetime. The language of the brain is electricity. The impulses of the single cells is really the basis for everything which we understand, everything which we remember, everything that we want, everything that we dream about is all electricity. Dr. Freed's research involves putting electrodes in the brain to record during a seizure. To identify a seizure focus, so we can later remove that uh, focus and in, in some cases really get a complete epilepsy cure. In the process of this, he's also developed a unique technique to record the signals from individual brain cells, neurons, while he's recording the seizure activity. In doing that, he allows us to begin to decode the language that brain cells are using to communicate and coordinate and enact functions in the brain. We're looking basically at what I would call a cognitive catastrophe with the aging population. This tsunami of disorders, dementias, Alzheimer's disease is going to affect 50 million people in a very short time worldwide. So the question is, what can we really do? Our hope is really to build a memory aid something that will be minimally invasive, uh, wireless, and will essentially be able to enhance memory function in people. Dr. Fried is also interested in some of the core elements of human behavior. He's been particularly interested in what it is within the human brain that results in evil, what he calls Syndrome E. Syndrome E is a transformation of ordinary, psychologically intact people with no violent uh, history necessarily into extreme violent behavior. It's a concept that's got to be studied from every perspective. There are signals in the brain which already predict what you will do before you know that you will do it. Imagine if evil became a curable disorder. That's where we see the potential. I'm tremendously excited about these projects that Dr. Fried is heavily engaged in because I've seen his effectiveness as both a surgeon and a scientist. So it is really a partnership. This kind of research only goes forward with the kind of support that our community provides us. There is a great opportunity for dedicated you know, people who will say, hey, I want to be a part of it. In my lifetime, we're going to see dramatic improvements. And I think that's going to be the dawn of an entirely new era in clinical neuroscience and most definitely in neurosurgery.